19. Praise the name of the living God. Sorry, verse 9 to 15. Bwana sifiwe sana. Yeah, verse 9 to 15. I think I made some mistake with the, the IT department. We'll correct it. Praise the name of the living God. Let us pray. Father, as we look for Hebrews, Father, we pray and give you thanks for this day, Lord. You have allowed us to once again stand in your presence and receive from you, Father. We thank you and we appreciate you. Father, I thank you, Lord, for each and every one of us. Father, we bless each and every individual in the house of God today. May you minister to them. Reach out to each and every one of us, Lord. Minister to us individually. Let the Holy Spirit speak to us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you and I honor you. And I bless you for you are good and your mercy endures forever. Father, I thank you even for the opportunity to share, Lord. Anoint me with your Holy Ghost for the sake of the ministry that is at hand. I thank you even for Bishop Lord for the opportunity to serve. I do not take it for granted. I pray a blessing upon her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless you and I honor you. As we receive your word, open our eyes, open our hearts, open our ears that we may hear with our hearing heart, Lord. We pray against the spirit of sleep and the devil stealing away the word from our hearts. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your name be exalted in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Have we found Hebrews chapter 6? Hebrews is the New Testament. Some of us, we, uh, you know, sometimes it's a problem to find it. One as your son. One as your son. You want to wear his Hebrews, old, new, but uh, someone told me it's not a shame to go and look uh, at the preface and see which page Hebrews is. Bonus for son. Yeah, don't spend all the time looking for it. Just go to the front of the Bible and see Hebrews page 696. Okay. Bonus for son. We're sharing on a title, on a message I entitled patience that inherits the promises of God. One as few as son. Bible says in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 9 reading but beloved we are confident of better things concerning you. Yes, things that accompany salvation. Though we speak in this manner for God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown towards his name in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister and we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end that you do not become sluggish but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises Praise the name of the living God. The writer of Hebrews says, We are confident of better things to come that accompany salvation. Buenas fue sana. Buenas fue sana. How many can have a testimony wherever you are in your life that since you got saved, Better things have accompanied salvation. One as few son. Have better things accompanied your salvation? One as few son. Or I'm, I feel like I'm talking to people who have not seen any good thing since you were saved. One as few son. One as few son. Let me speak for myself. I can attest that great things, good things have accompanied our salvation. Ever since I was born again, I have seen good in the Lord. I have seen joy and I have known what joy is all about. I have seen the joy of salvation. That is one good thing that has accompanied my salvation. 
before i was not born again i did not know joy i knew how to be happy but i did not know joy bwana asifiwe sana i knew how to watch football and to go and watch football and to celebrate and to have happiness but i did not know joy bwana asifiwe sana because if we lost i was sad bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana but now whether you lose or you win i can still be happy because i have the joy of salvation inside of me bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana joy is one thing that has accompanied salvation for me and so many other good things the lord has healed me bwana asifiwe sana the bible says in psalms 103 bless the lord and forget not all his benefits bwana asifiwe sana and i can attest that the lord has been good to me he has healed of me of my diseases bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana that is just an example of some of the good things that have accompanied my salvation and i hope all of us have a testimony bwana asifiwe sana i used to be a frequent visitor of kikuyu hospital bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana for i problems bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana so you know when you get used to a certain condition and a certain thing so much so that you are the one who is the expert whenever you see somebody who is sick you tell him hey i know of a good hospital bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana but that is not my testimony anymore i don't know any good hospitals now bwana asifiwe sana i know the lord my god salvation has come with good things bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana so i'm no longer one of those people whom you can ask where do i go for this treatment or that treatment and i tell you no kijabe is the best bwana asifiwe sana because i don't remember the last time i was there bwana asifiwe sana the bible goes ahead to say for god is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love which you have so shown towards his name in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister bwana asifiwe sana God is not unjust. He knows the works you've put in. Bwana asifiwe sana. He knows your work, your labor of love in the kingdom. Bwana asifiwe sana. He knows, he sees when you wake up early and decide to go to church. He sees when you decide to commit to teaching the children. He sees when you decide to commit to go for prayer. He sees and the Bible says he is no sir. He is not unjust. Bwana asifiwe sana. He is a God who rewards us exceedingly. Bwana asifiwe sana. The Bible goes ahead to say and we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end that you do not become sluggish. Bwana asifiwe sana. But imitate, copy those who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God. Bwana asifiwe sana. The writer of Hebrew says we should not become sluggish. Bwana asifiwe sana. In our Christian walk we should not become sluggish. Tusianze kuzembea. Let us walk through to the end and inherit the promises. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. It makes no sense to just walk in this salvation walk for a while and then fall by the wayside. and miss out on the reward that God has for us. Bwana asifiwe sana. Patiently let us endure to the end that we may inherit the promises. Bwana asifiwe sana. The Bible says in 2 uh, Peter chapter 1 there are promised to us exceedingly great promises. Bwana asifiwe sana. Peter says exceedingly great promises. Bwana asifiwe sana. So the salvation life is a life where we look forward to exceedingly great promises that the Lord has promised us. Bwana asifiwe sana. But let us endure through patience so that we may see the other end. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Let us not give up in the middle. Let us not fall by the wayside after walking through this whole walk and be the ones who did not endure to the end 
to receive the great promises that our Lord has for us. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. Our Lord has nothing in store but good things for us. But we have to endure to the end. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. We have to endure to the end because on the other side is exceedingly great promises. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. You know, a friend of mine once sent me this picture of this man who was looking, digging for gold. One has fear, son. Na na chimba, na chimba, na chimba, and then he gave up because you know in, when you are digging for gold, you go down and then you start going. One has fear, son. Unenda chini and then you start digging. When you are down there, you are going. One has fear, son. So this picture told me that uh, this picture that this friend of mine showed me was this person gave up. And uh, because there was just some little wall remaining, one has fear, son. And on the other side was the gold, one has fear, son. And so I came to encourage us today that in our salvation walk, let us not give up, let us not grow weary, one has fear, son. There are exceedingly great promises, one has fear, son. Whether it is the promise of eternal life or whether it is even some of the great promises that our Lord promises us in this life, let us not give up in the middle. One has fear, son. Let us have patience to inherit the promises. One has fear, son. If the Lord promises us that because we are the righteous people in our families, our families will get saved and will not end up in destruction, let us not give up on him. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. If the Lord has promised us that our children will be great in the land and we will inherit the land, then let us not give up. Let us continue walking with him to the end. Let us have the patience that we are called to have. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. If you read that Hebrews 6, 9, where we are, down there from chapter 13, it talks of how God made a promise to Abraham that he would be a father of many nations. One has fear, son. And that the Bible says, Abraham patiently endured until he obtained the promise. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. He did not give up in the middle. He endured to the end. Until he saw a hair. One has fear son. One has fear son. You know he was promised a son in his 70s. And he saw that son when he was way in his 90s. One has fear son. One has fear son. He did not give up in the middle. Most of us if God would come and promise us by this time next year you will have a son. And you do not see that son for two years we give up. One has fear son. All the promises that God has given us need patience so that we can inherit. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. Hebrews chapter 10, the same Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 36. The Bible says, For you have need of endurance. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. One has fear, son. You have need of endurance. So that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. We all want to run the race and finish. One has fear, son. And finish. And when we finish the race, there is a reward for finishing. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. There is a reward for finishing the race. There is never a medal for not finishing. One has fear, son. One has fear, son. So it doesn't matter how long or how painful the race that has been set before you is. The trials, the challenges that you have to overcome in the middle. But please make sure you finish the race. One has fear, son. 
make sure you get to the other end and the Lord says well done good and faithful servant one as your son one as your son do not worry about the ones who become number one and get the medal one as your son there's a medal for everybody that finishes the race one as your son one as your son we do not run the same race some people are fast they will go faster some of us have to jump so many hurdles but at the end there's a medal for everybody the promises are awaiting us all who walk with God to the end one as your son one as your son even you go for these races just even this marathon that you see people going for in town if you do not finish then there is no medal for you one as your son but I can assure you Leave alone the Kipchoge Kainos who finish first, but everybody else who finishes that marathon, by the way, there is a medal. There is a medal of victory that shows you have run the race. You have completed the race. So let us run this race. The Bible says in the same Hebrews chapter 12 this time, as we go forward, 12 verse 1, Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily, easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and sat down at the right hand of God at the throne of God. You know we also want to get to the end and sit at the right hand of God. So the Bible encourages us in Hebrews chapter 12 let us, we have a great cloud of witnesses, let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. One as your son. One as your son. If God has set before you the race to be a Sunday school teacher, run that race to the end so that when the end comes, the Lord says, Good and faithful servant. One as your son. One as your son. If the race set before you is to be a prayer intercessor, then run that race. Intercede for everybody that you should intercede for. So that when God finally calls you home, it will be said, good and faithful servant. Do not despise the race. Do not, you know, do not want to run the race that has been set for someone else. This is not the, like the, our worldly competition. Say, kama zile watu wanaendanga kukimbia kuzunguka uwanja. You know when you run, I remember when we were practicing to run, we would be told once the, 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 the signal has gone, even you know, one, two, three, four, five to the end. But our trainers would tell us once the, the, the signal has gone, ta, and everybody has started running. Make sure you all run to this final lane. One as your son. Because uh, according to that, that one is the shorter one. One as your son. One as your son. And that, was, that is why you see, even though kila mtu ananza kwa lane yake, immediately they start running, everybody comes to this inner lane. Hii ya huku ndani, kila mtu sasa anakimbia hapo. One as your son. Hakuna wale walikuwa anakimbia huko mwisho. One as your son. But that is not our race here in salvation. It doesn't matter what you are called to do. Some people are called to be apostles. Some people are called to be prophets. Some people are called to be evangelists. Some people are called to be pastors. Some people are called to be teachers. But some people are also called to be servers. Haven't you read in the Bible it says that some people are called to serve others. Some people are called to be givers. They give with a good heart. Some people are called to be leaders. They lead others. So whatever it is that you're called to do, if you're called to wipe chairs in church, you wipe those seats until when you get to heaven, the crown will be there. 
Bwana asiye sana. If you are called to take care of the children, take care of them like you know. That is your calling. Bwana asiye sana. Bwana asiye sana. Hapa kuna kushindana. We don't all want to get one lane, one lane and then tunagongana hapo. Bwana asiye sana. Bwana asiye sana. The Bible says it is one body. Bwana asiye sana. And the hand cannot tell the nose that you are doing nothing. Bwana asiye sana. Bwana asiye sana. Just because everybody can see the work that the eye is doing and the nose is doing, it doesn't mean that the appendix is less important. Bwana asiye sana. Bwana asiye sana. Even the appendix and the liver and everything else is the, especially the ones which we cannot see are the most important. Bwana asiye sana. Bwana asiye sana. If the liver pl- stopped playing its part even though we cannot see, then this eye and this mouth that talks a lot will collapse. Bwana asiye sana. There won't be a function so everybody has their race. Bwana asiye sana. Bwana asiye sana. Let me tell you and you can notice Bwana asiye sana. Everybody, have you noticed in the house of God? There are people kuna mtu kama ayuko hata hizi viti hazitatolewa hapa zitalala tu hapa. Bwana asiye sana. Wewe unafikiri ni kitu kidogo na zitakaa tu hivi mpaka next week tutazipata tu hivi. Bwana asiye sana. Bwana asiye sana. Everybody has their part to play. And God calls us to run with endurance. Bwana asiye sana. They are givers. Wale wenye hata sadaka ikitangazwa kuna wale watu wasiposimama wakuje wengine watutakaa tu tukiwaangalia. Bwana asiye sana. There, there are those who naturally are givers. Hao ndio wataanza ndio watu wengine tufuate. Bwana asiye sana. Bwana asiye sana. And if they don't start the rest will just be sitting Bwana asiye sana. Tutakuwa tu tumekaa tunawaangaliana. Bwana asiye sana. Because that is their race. They have been called to be a giver in the house of God and yeye aimsumbui. Bwana asiye sana. I decide when you have to decide what am I giving today yeye ana akoshua bet bwana asiye sana bwana asiye sana and god calls us to run that race with endurance bwana asiye sana it doesn't matter the challenges that are ahead of you bwana asiye sana it doesn't matter you have to jump over hurdles bwana asiye sana unajua ile race ya stipoches bwana asiye sana Stipoches who knows stipoches Yeah Nani wanajua how many people have run Gani nyinyi amujakimbia stipoches Bwana asiye sana Stipoches ni ile unakimbia na unaruka unaingia kwa maji Bwana asiye sana Si mnajua iko hiyo race ya 3000 meters Mimi nimekimbia hiyo najua Bwana asiye sana Bwana asiye sana Unakimbia na unaruka unaingia kwa maji unatoka unaendelea Bwana asiye sana That that it has hurdles Bwana asiye sana. But you have to overcome those hurdles. Bwana asiye sana. And you have to overcome them for you to get a prize. Bwana asiye sana. Hata hii race ya 110 meter hurdles. Bwana asiye sana. Wachana na hii 100 meters hii ya Omunyala. Kuna ile unaenda ukikimbia wakiruka hizo virunzi. Ta 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 mpaka mwisho. Bwana asiye sana. Simona hiyo 110 meters hurdles. Wanaenda wamekewa virunzi. Bwana asiye sana. Watu wengine wanakimbia tu anaenda kiangusha zote pa 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 mpaka mwisho bwana asiye sana you know ukiangusha hizo zote hata ukiwa number one, <laughs> hakuna unakuwa disqualified bwana asiye sana lazima uruke at least kama umeangusha moja ama mbili bwana asiye sana lakini ukiangusha zote mpaka mwisho hiyo hakuna kazi umefanya bwana asiye sana so all even us we are allowed maybe some places we will not handle the discouragement well but we cannot fail on every level Bwana asiye sana. God is with us to see that we endure through these hurdles. He gives us strength to walk through them. Every hurdle that comes, you jump over it. And the next hurdle, you jump over it. And when you work, get to the end, the Lord says, "Good and faithful servant." Bwana asiye sana. If you are a Sunday school teacher, I don't know why I'm measuring there today. There are hurdles. Bwana asiye sana. Today they come at 9, tomorrow they come at 11. Bwana asiye sana. You need the grace of God to walk through. Bwana asiye sana. To the end. Bwana asiye sana. And in the end, 
when you see that generation bwana asifiwe sana that has been raised bwana asifiwe sana you say god says good and faithful servant bwana asifiwe sana congratulations to the ones who have been there they can see their fruits even now bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana and you can say god can say of you good and faithful servant you ran the race bwana asifiwe sana and the bible says we should be encouraged because hebrews chapter 12 says look at jesus he is the one who is our example bwana asifiwe sana he is the author and the finisher of our faith he is the one we should look to the bible says he despised the shame of being crucified by men because he knew what he was achieving was far much greater bwana asifiwe sana he despised the shame so you today despise the shame it doesn't matter how much shame and discouragement come your way but as you face your race be encouraged that the end god will say good and faithful servant bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana despise the shame sometimes there's so much shame i i, I know quite a little bit about running because i have run bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana i didn't succeed <laughs> i wasn't amongst the top but we ran bwana asifiwe sana i remember the first time we went to ran, to run our school went to run and they just picked us you know they just picked us anyhow they just gave us a few cross country laps and then they picked the best bwana asifiwe sana the first time we went to run here at moy airbase that's where the provincials of nairobi were bwana asifiwe sana here we were and you know our school was a private school so kawaida a private school we were very tiny compared to our competitors bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana another disadvantage of being in a private school was that they had the money to get us uniforms bwana asifiwe sana big disadvantage bwana asifiwe sana because everybody else was not running with a uniform but as we had some very good red uniforms bwana asifiwe sana so when the race began steeple chase sisi wote na hiyo red yetu yote watu karibu wa sita tulikuwa huko nyuma tunaonekana bwana asifiwe sana so all six with the red uniform are at the back kila mtu anatuona huko nyuma bwana asifiwe sana you're encouraging yourselves bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana Uh, now the, the the problem with running the race here here shule is that when uh, you are overlapped ule wa huko mbele akiwa overlap mnaambiwa mtoke bwana asifiwe sana as we were running somebody encouraged me bwana asifiwe sana one of the cheerleaders wale wako huko kando wale officials wamewekwa kuangalia kama watu wanakimbia ama wengine wanatembea alini encourage tukiwa huko nyuma akaniambia Bora umalize. Bwana asifiwe sana. There's a medal for everybody. Bwana asifiwe sana. And I decided I was not going to be overlapped. Bwana asifiwe sana. And I ran my race. I may have come last, but I got a medal. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. I despised the shame of running at the last one. Unakimbia na ule wa namba 1 ako hapa nyuma yako ni kama anakukimbiza na wewe utaki akupite bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana <laughs> you know nobody you know even some sometimes people can mistake and think you are the one who is number one. bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana but the good thing is at the end of it all we all got medals bwana asifiwe sana so despise the shame what you go through in your christian walk despise the shame despise what your relatives say bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana despise what your relatives say when we got born again i know they, they your relatives wanapenda kukukejeli wakati ambapo unaokoka bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana but i can tell you it is only for a season bwana asifiwe sana because it comes to a point where nowadays they look to you for you bwana asifiwe sana they look for you so and so you know is a prayerful person can we call them when we have this problem bwana asifiwe sana 
But it all happens because when you when they dis, when they brought shame upon you like Jesus Christ you despise the shame. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hebrews goes ahead and says in Hebrews chapter 12 consider him who endured such hostility even unto death. And that is our encouragement. Bwana asifiwe sana. The Bible tells us to encourage ourselves. I mean we have not endured to death. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Jesus endured to death as we have not endured to death. Sometimes we have thought we are going to die, but we did not die. We are still here. We are still walking. We did not die. When we thought that the devil was finally going to finish us, the Lord encouraged us, brought us back up, and we are still walking. So let us walk to the end. Let us despise all the shame. Let us look to Jesus. Every trial we go through, Every challenge we go through, every depressing thing we go through, every warfare we go through, let us despise it. Because there is good promises on the other end. The Bible says in Psalms 2 8, Ask of me and I shall give you the inheritance for thy inheritance. So when we were going through shame as a church, we, 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 we remember that there is a promise for the heathen to be saved through us. So we will not give up as a church. Whether we go through this or that, we will not give up because there is a good promise of heathen getting born again. And in our families, we will not give up because we have exceedingly great promises. The Lord has promised in Psalms 25, our children will inherit the land. So I will not give up in my prayer life, whether I see things working out or not, because I know that they are good promises for us. Doesn't matter the shame. They can insult you. You can go through persecution, but like Jesus, who is our who is the author and the finisher of faith, you will despise it. Panasfiesan. Yani waki kudarau na wewe utadarau iyo madarau. Panasfiesan. You will despise it. You will not let it affect you. Panasfiesan. You know, but the Bible says in Isaiah chapter fifty of Jesus Christ, the Bible says. He gave his face to them that plucked the beard. One as for son. And them that spat on him. One as for son. One as for son. You know, plucking the beard was one of the most shameful things you could do to a Hebrew. One as for son. So shameful was it that when certain men came from fighting in David's army and their beards were plucked. David told them they had to stay out of the camp. Mbaka zime. Because it is shameful. Yet Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Hosts, the one who created heavens and earth, the one who created all these people, stood there as these people plucked his beard, struck him, and even spat on him. Spitting on him. Imagine our God did not say anything. It's a good example for us. I mean, you know, if someone just, you are walking and that person just at a memate too in your direction, that is just a big insult. Most of us will just be insulted. Just spitting in your direction. Spitting in your leg. That is another case altogether. Even if it was by accident, it will be a very big case. But if someone spat in your face like they did to Jesus, that's a major World War III. But Jesus just stood there and they spat in his face. Have we endured to that level? Have you endured to that level? Let us endure to the level where our patience is seen. 
your patience is seen because you have endured one as your son because you know the reward that is ahead of you one as your son one as your son you know the reward that is ahead of you and you walk with god enduring to the end one as your son there is no you know thank you very much one as your son one as your son i told you there are people who notice things that other people do not notice one as your son each and every one of us has our work in the kingdom of god one as your son one as your son some of us would not even know one as your son if you found these curtains the one is here some of us would not even notice but the lord has ensured that in the house of god everybody works together to ensure that everything is seamless one as your son so i was saying we endure with patience because sometimes the bible says in hebrew that god chastens us and that is why we have to be patient we have to be patient because god chastens us so that we can be sons one as your son one as your son so that it can be seen that we are sons of god one as your son when you go through persecution when you go through chastening when you go through a time of waiting on the lord and people are questioning why are they not seeing the miracle but you are still holding on eventually the bible says after the time of chastening you will inherit the promises and people will see this one is a true son of god one as your son one as your son so let us be encouraged in our christian walk sometimes the devil wants to push buttons so that you can lose your testimony one as your son one as your son they want to just push buttons so that you can lose your testimony but be encouraged that there are promises at the end so do not lose your testimony apakatikati one as your son one as your son bible says let us run the race that is set before us let us lay aside that sin that so easily ensnares us one as your son because there is a sin that so easily catches us one as your son so that we may lose our testimony testimony so that we may lose you know the devil just knows where to press 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 so that you can lose your testimony and lose and when you get discouraged then you 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 fall from your walk with god one as your son you no longer have the courage the strength to walk one as your son but let us walk through this salvation life with patience let us have endurance let us not allow sin to constantly ensnare us one as your son walk with god ask him to deliver you from that sin that constantly ensnares you one as your son You know people know what if you are an angry person they know where to press so that you can always be angry one as your son one as your son they know where to press and satan just knows where to press one as your son <laughs> when i was born again i remember the, I, used, i used to live in shaurimoyo just behind our plot there are some boys that used to smoke bang there they had no problem with me one as your son not at all then i got born again and now when i was i would pass there <laughs> one of them would just insult me out of nowhere one as your son out of nowhere I never used to understand what was happening one as your son out of nowhere I, every time i was passing there this one specific guy in the midst of around four or five would just insult me one as your son insults out of nowhere i'm just passing i've not hurt anybody one as your son 
There's no problem. I've not done anything. One has fear, son. So one day, when because they are the same boys, uh, the other three were amongst the group that used to collect garbage. And so they come for garbage collection and then they collect money from us. So one day when one of them was collecting money from us and he was, uh, he was, he was not very bad. Him, we could talk and laugh with him. I asked him, so what's the deal with this friend of yours? Why is it that every time I am passing there, he has to do that? And he told me, you know, that guy, he, he, his mother is born again or maybe religious. But the mother is not, does not have very good character. She wasn't born again. I think she was just religious. So he was doing that specifically to see how a Christian would react so that he can have it in his mind finally he has figured out all Christians are a reasonable people blessed be the Lord God I never reacted or I just used to pass I passed his test maybe maybe he saw that they can be a different kind of Christianity but the thing is our walk is a textbook for people to read. And that is why we should walk to the end. We should walk to the end. Do not be discouraged in the middle because the promises are once we get to the end. The end of our journey, the end of our walk, the end of our prayer life. On the other side, is a great promises. If only we endure through patience. Look at Job. He endured the patience of Job. He endured the discouragement from his friends and all the negative things they said about him. Do you feel discouraged? Have your friends, all of them, come around? You know, when you have like friends like those ones of Job, sometimes even Satan can take a break and say, let those ones do my work. Do you have friends who come to pretend they have come to console with you in your trials, but all they do is they leave you even feeling more depressed? Please do not fall by the wayside. The Bible says, have patience, endure to the end. And the Bible says there is exceedingly great promises. God promises in Joel chapter 2 verse 25 there. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. The canker worms and all the other types of worms. So you go through this knowing that even though it seems like everything is eating at me right now. But there is a place where God will restore me. God promises in Deuteronomy that your days shall be like days of heaven on earth. So even though you might not be seeing that now, you can endure through patience knowing that there will come a time when the Lord will restore to me days of heaven on earth. Where I will wake up with joy and happiness in my heart at all times. So let us walk with endurance. Let us have patience through the trials. The promise is not always. Just because we have received a promise does not mean that the answer will come tomorrow. David was anointed king at the age of 17. And he had to go through all the pain and the frustration of being chased by Saul yet he was anointed king he had the promise of being king but he still had to go through a time of trial and he had to endure patiently he did not give up all those years until in his 30s when he now became king and you know, the Bible says he, he was chased all over Israel. So by the time he was becoming king, he knew all the corners of Israel. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So sometimes this time of endurance, the reason we need to walk with patience is because God is working a work in us that will see us get to that place and we know what we are supposed to do there. Bwana asifiwe sana. If David had not been chased by Saul all over Israel, he would not have known how to rule. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Abraham had to wait. David had to wait. The Bible says in Hebrew 11, chapter 11 verse 11, Sarah received strength to conceive seed, to conceive seed. As she a child, she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him, she judged him faithful who had promised. Bwana asifiwe sana. So if we want to see ourselves inherit these promises, then judge God who has promised you these promises faithful. If God says, like he says, after you have struggled for a while, he will establish you and strengthen you, then you can judge him faithful. Even though you go through a struggle, you will judge that God has promised me that there will come a time of establishing me. One as for your son. One as for your son. If the Lord has promised that he will restore to you good health, then you can judge him faithful. That even though I may not see the good health now, I know that there is a place where the Lord promises that he will renew my strength and I will soar like an eagle. One as for your son. One as for your son. So let us walk this walk. This time of chastening, it is the most important time in our Christian walk because we get to develop the muscles to get to where we are going. One as for your son. One as for your son. Because if we are not developed during this time, one as for your son. During this time of uh, waiting upon God, if we are not developed, if patience does not grow during that time, then some of us, when we get to the places that we believe God has set for us, will be too proud to be told anything. One as your son. We'll be too proud to be directed by God. And that is why we have to go through it patiently. One as your son. One as your son. Patiently. When God says, Stop, I love. When the children of Israel were in the wilderness. And at one point the Bible says. That when the cloud hovered upon them. They would stop. One as for your son. One as for your son. And the Bible says. If the cloud stayed there for a month. They would stay there for a month. One as for your son. If the cloud stayed there for a year. Then they would stay there for a year. One as for your son. One as for your son. Some of us need to remember. That if God says it's time to move, then it's time to move. One as for son. But if God says it's not time to move, it is time to develop you and build up your muscles, then we stay and we do not be quick to go out. One as for son. One as for son. Do not be quick to leave. Say like Moses, I'm not going unless your presence says we go. One as for son. Because if you go, like Abraham tried to go, on his own, then there will be disaster. One as for your son. One as for your son. Because Abraham tried to go on his own, there had to be Ishmael. One as for your son. One as for your son. And the Bible says Ishmael. And Ishmael has been tormenting Christians up to today. One as for your son. One as for your son. So that is the problem. Of not allowing God to work his work through patience. One as for your son. Let God work his work through patience. So that we do not end up having an Ishmael kind of scenario. Let us just wait on God. For Isaac is coming. One as for your son. Let us wait patiently on God. Because Isaac is coming. One as for your son. Doesn't matter how long it is going to take Abraham. Because the one who has promised is faithful. One as for son. One as for son. So develop the muscles 
Let God work the work in you so that you know that you Bona sfe sana. You know how to be faithful at the level you are. Bona sfe sana. Bona sfe sana. You know how to be faithful with two and three children so that when God brings a hundred then you are because you have walked with him you know how to be faithful with them. Bona sfe sana. Bona sfe sana. You know how to wipe 40 or 50 chairs so that when God brings 300 you do not give up in the middle. You know how to praise and worship for 30 minutes, for one hour so that when God says it is now time to worship for one hour for six services then you know how to be faithful. Patience. Endure through patience. You know how to walk the walk because you have been walking with him through and through. You did not give up in the middle. You did not fall by the wayside. You walked with God throughout the journey. A pastor friend of mine told me of how he struggled with poverty for so long. When he was uh, starting his ministry, he struggled with poverty and he was so broke that he used to have one shoe. <laughs> so much so that there was no corner left. So that one day when he took it to the fundi, <laughs> the fundi threw it away in front of him. It's easier for him. But he tells me that what he went through helped him. So that nowadays, even when he's preaching, he can just notice if someone has some torn shoes and he can minister to them. And he can bless them. He will not despise when he sees you going to church with torn shoes because he knows he went through that period. So some of us, the challenges, the trials that we have to go through are so that we can develop the muscle some of us have to struggle with waking up early and coming to church waking up early and coming so that one day when this church will have so many people you see the ones who are coming late you do not turn your back and start saying mm. you will also because you know the struggle you will reach out to them and minister to them we have to grow the muscles through these times of trials. And that is why we have to go through them through patience. One as few son. One as few son. Through patience. We walk through it and we get to the other end. One as few son. One as few son. So always, you know, always when you go through trials, when you go through times of endure, times of temptations, long times of waiting on God, know that you are supposed to develop the patience to walk through. Patience. And patience is not complaining. Patience thanks God that this time is just but a moment. Greater things are coming. And we can only be patient if our heart, our heart is transformed. The transformation has to begin inside and we have to view challenges and trials as a moment of God chastening us. We have to see it as a time of chastening, as a time of growth. And so when our, our hearts are transformed from inside, then our outside can be patient. It's like these ducks. Have you seen when the duck is moving in water? 
It is moving very calmly around in water. Bwana asifiwe sana. But when you look inside underneath its feet, its feet are paddling. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ta 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 ta. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So when we learn to see to when our heart changes, then even though outside there are so many challenges, fire here, fire there, fire there, but our hearts can still be calm. Bwana asifiwe sana. Because we know that this like apostle Paul says this light and momentarily trial is nothing compared to the good work that the Lord has installed for us. One as we son changing our heart. Even Abraham when he was promised a son, God had to change how he viewed himself first. One as we son. One as we son. God had to change how he viewed himself so that he changed his name from Abram to Abraham. Bwana asifiwe sana. So all this time he, Abraham means father of many nations. So even though he was waiting on God, his name had changed. So every time he called out his name, he would know that truly God is faithful. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So change transforming the heart if you're believing God for a healing let the heart start to be transformed and start talking like someone who believes that they are going to receive their healing. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Start planning of how you are going to serve God more and more. Bwana asifiwe sana. Start talking of how you are going to seek the Lord more and more. Bwana asifiwe sana. Don't start planning your funeral. Bwana asifiwe sana. Because he is faithful. Bwana asifiwe sana. He is a faithful God. Bwana asifiwe sana. And there will come a time where we will see his promises. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So let us regain our first love. Bwana asifiwe sana. Let us regain our first love in this salvation walk because we know that even though there have been trials we know that God is faithful. Bwana asifiwe sana. We know that he is a faithful God. Bwana asifiwe sana. So we will regain our first love. We will start to serve him like we know that the God who called me is faithful. Bwana asifiwe sana. I will patiently David said I waited patiently for him. Bwana asifiwe sana. So I will wait patiently. How do you wait patiently? You seek him more, Bwana asifiwe sana, because you know that there is a promise coming. It means that if prayer time is called, then you will seek him more because you know that the end will be great. Bwana asifiwe sana. You will regain your first love. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. God spoke and told in the book of Revelation chapter 2 Revelation is the last book in the Bible Revelation chapter 2 God speaks to the church of Ephesus and says to the angel of the church of Ephesus, this thing say he who holds the seven stars in his right hand who walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands. I know your works, your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear those who are evil. And you have tested those who say apostles, they are apostles and are not and have found them liars. And have, you have persevered in patience and have labored for my name's sakes. And have not become weary. Nevertheless I have this against you. That you have left your first love. One as few son. And God calls them to regain their first love. One as few son. Most of us. If we only regained our first love. You know what we feel. We felt when we were first born again. That desire we had to seek the Lord. To serve him. Then we will not grow weary. One as few son. These people, they didn't grow weary. So God calls us to not grow weary. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. God calls us to not grow weary. Let us walk with him to the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. For there are exceedingly great promises. Bwana asifiwe sana. Judge him faithful. He who promised you is faithful even to the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So let us get ready. Let us not accept the levels. You know sometimes when challenges come, they push us, they push us, they push us until we fail, we 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 fall off our mark. Bwana asifiwe sana. And when you look at us today, we have lost our first love. We are no longer serving God as much as we wanted to because we lost our hope in the promise. Bwana asifiwe sana. We reached the middle and maybe we said no there is no medal at the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. There is no longer need to continue praying. There is no longer need for me to go and serve because I don't see this promise. But I came to encourage you today that the Bible says Sarah judged him faithful who promised. Bwana asifiwe sana. So all that the Lord has promised you, the great and amazing promises that you have held on to your heart. Believe you me, he is faithful. Bwana asifiwe sana. He is a faithful God. Bwana asifiwe sana. So let us get excited again. Let us get excited for the gospel again. Let us get excited for praising him again. Let us, you know some of us our praise left us because we don't look to him as being faithful in his promises. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Let us move with expectancy because there is a reward at the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. But there is a process that we must go through. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. There is a process that we must go through. And if you go through the process, the reward is there at the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. You might not like the process. It might be painful. But always look to Jesus the author and finisher of your faith and say if Jesus endured to the end I will endure to the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So maybe I feel some of us need a, re, a, a what do you call it to 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 re, reevaluate our lives. Bwana asifiwe sana. We need to 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 get excited again because there is a wonderful promise at the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. In Mark chapter 8 verse 22 when Jesus healed this blind man Jesus touched him and he didn't have his full healing Bwana asifiwe sana Bwana asifiwe sana He didn't have his full healing he said Jesus asked him what do you see he said I see men looking like trees I see men looking like trees and this miracle has always intrigued me Bwana asifiwe sana because Jesus wanted him to con Continue with this race to the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. Most of us we could have given up in the middle and say Jesus I see men looking like trees but it's okay. I'm okay. It's better than where I was. Bwana asifiwe sana. But Jesus wants us to walk to the end and receive the promise. Bwana asifiwe sana. Don't see men looking like trees. Say Jesus I want the full victory. Bwana asifiwe sana. Say Jesus you have promised me that my children will serve me and my house will serve the Lord. I'm not comfortable serving the Lord, me alone. Bwana asifiwe sana. I'm going to believe for my entire family. Because as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. And that is a promise. Bwana asifiwe sana. I don't, don't settle for just looking at men like trees. Bwana asifiwe sana. Don't settle where you are discouraged. Where you no longer think there is a promise. Because I can assure you that the Lord has exceedingly great and awesome promises. You got born again. Do not be settling. Be comfortable. Just coming to church. Ask God for the promise that he promised. He said, I will send my spirit to you and it will be a helper. Bwana sana. So why are you going through your salvation life without your helper, the Holy Spirit? Bwana asifiwe sana. 
Have you asked the Lord that you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit? So that you can stop seeing men looking like trees and move to the new dimension. So that you can stop having difficulties praying because the Holy Spirit is in you. So that you can stop having difficulties reading the Bible because you have received the promise of the Holy Spirit. Somebody get ready to receive the promise. One as your son. Get ready to receive the promise. Oh, when you know that the promise is there, you get encouraged. One as your son. When you know that the promise is there, you've seen one as your son. You've seen even the race, the, 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 the ones who are running. The long distance runners. They will be running slowly. One lap, two laps, 20 laps. They are still running slowly. One as your son. But when they're in the final lap, they now see the bell has rung. You see them adding speed. Because they know now the promise is near. So let us get excited in our Christian lives. Seek the Lord even more. Because you know that the promise is near. Seek the Lord even more because you know that his time of coming is near. Say my family must be saved quickly. Commit yourself. Endurance. Patience. Walk through the life knowing that there is a promise. When we know that there is a promise. When we know that there is an end to it. And the Lord says I am your exceedingly great reward. Then we will walk through this salvation life through patience. Bonus for your son. Bonus for your son. Because we will always be ready. You know the Bible says when the children of Israel wanted to leave Egypt. And they were told this is the final night. Bonus for your son. This is the last night. They were, to they, they were told eat your Passover this night. Because the Lord is about to move. And the promise of going into your promised land is about to start. And the Bible, like the, the Bible says, they were told, when you eat, don't just eat the Passover anyhow. Don't just sit in your tables and eat the Passover. They were told when you are eating the Passover, Eat with a belt on your waist and a staff in your hand and with sandals in your feet. One as for your son. One as for your son. They were eating the Passover at night, but God was telling them, eat like someone who is ready. One as for your son. One as for your son. Don't eat in your pajamas because it is night and then we are going to eat the lamb and then sleep. No. Eat like someone who knows that it is time for the promise. It is time to get out. And so the Bible says they were told, eat with your staff in your hand, with your sandals in your feet, and with your belt in your waist. Which means get ready for the promise. Get ready for getting out. You know, if, if, if they were, you know, the Passover was happening at night. The angel was passing at night. The children of Israel would have expected that if they are to leave tomorrow, then when they eat the Passover at night, there's no problem. They can get around their tables and eat the Passover and then go and sleep. But God says, because there's a promise, get ready for getting out. Get ready. There is a promise. So when you walk your salvation life, if you want to grow patience, always know that there is a promise. Bonus for your son. Bonus for your son. You will not linger in that place forever. There is a promise. Bonus for your son. There is a promise. And so we can be patient. Bonus for your son. Bonus for your son. There's something for everybody. Bonus for your son. You can run your race, your race patiently, knowing very, full well that God's promises to you will manifest. There is no shortage in God's kingdom. 
Bwana asifiwe sana. God does not have to take away from person A to bless you. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So that you can run the race always wanting to overtake person A. Bwana asifiwe sana. There is a reward for each and every one of us. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. So we can run patiently. Bwana asifiwe sana. We can endure whatever the devil throws our way. Bwana asifiwe sana. Patiently. Because we know that the promise is there for all of us. Bwana asifiwe sana. You can sit patiently through the journey that God is carrying you through. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. There is no competition for limited resources so that we can think that I have to overtake my friend for me to win. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Let us be patient. As we run through our race. Bwana asifiwe sana. There's enough for all of us. The promises of God are yea and amen for all of us. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. <laughs> you know when, when I was in school and we used to have mass because I was in a religious institution and we used to go for mass and some of those services were immediately before meal times. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Some of the services were just before lunch or just before supper. Bwana asifiwe sana. And because it's typical high school, uh, the resources are scarce. Bwana asifiwe sana. The food resources are scarce. And you know that. Bwana asifiwe sana. So nobody wants to leave the service and run to the dormitory or to the class to pick your tools bwana asifiwe sana that you are going to use bwana asifiwe sana so uh, the students we are very crafty we take our spoons put them in the pocket and go for service bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana because uh, there is scarce resources bwana asifiwe sana because you want to make sure that immediately the priest says a man through the door with your spoon in your pocket bwana asifiwe sana the problem with that is that when you have those spoons in your pocket, they are reminding you of where you are going. So it is very hard for us to be patient during the service. So that is why during the service, and you know, <laughs> a religious service, the, the, the kind of mass we used to have, there are some moments of silence where everybody is kneeling in silence. And that's when you hear when you, someone was going to kneel, the spoon drops. Yeah. And everybody else was silent. Bwana asifiwe sana. So <laughs> it was uh, when when one spoon drops, now it is very hard for people to be patient because they they think it has dropped uh, it has been dropped on purpose. So now everybody will be dropping theirs just so that the priest in front can know we are busy. Bwana asifiwe sana. Don't take us for long. Bwana asifiwe sana. Very hard to be patient when people think that the resources are scarce. Bwana asifiwe sana. But these promises of God are for all of us. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. You don't need to worry about the person who is running that race or this race. You need to remember that you have a race of your own and you will run patiently. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. And you will run it to the end. Bwana asifiwe sana. And the Bible says God is not unjust. Bwana asifiwe sana. He is not unjust. He sees the labor that you have put in. He sees the work that you are doing in his kingdom. And I can assure you, there will be a reward. So do not become sluggish. Let us imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God. Abraham inherited the promise of God. Sarah did. And so many others. Bwana asifiwe sana. Oh, if only we walk through, we run our race with patience, with endurance. And receive the promises of God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Second Peter says, exceedingly great promises. All that we need for our life and for godliness. Bwana asifiwe sana. 
These are promises that has been given to us. All that we need for life and for godliness. All that you need to be a godly person has been promised to you by God. Just go through patiently, endure the chastening so that you can be a son, a daughter in the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. He is an awesome God. He is a great God. We serve him because he is an awesome God. We walk this walk with him because we know he is a wonderful God. How lovely are his promises. He gives us salvation. And then he promises us the gift of the Holy Spirit. To walk through with us. To be our helper. He saves us. He promises us. The gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of wisdom. Word of knowledge. Gifts of healing. Praise the name of the living God. Oh, I would seek these wonderful promises of our God. That I can have wisdom. That I no longer have to ask everybody. What do I do? Do I do A or do I do B? Do I go here or do I go there? Do I go and do this or do I go and do that? I have a promise of the gifts of wisdom. And the Bible says, desire earnestly. Born as fear son. So let us walk knowing that these promises are there for us. But we can only obtain them if we walk through patience. Born as fear son. Born as fear son. If we get the promises of God without having gone through a time of trial and testing. Look at Solomon. His father went through trial and testing. Before the promises of God would manifest. But he didn't go through the time of trial and testing. And that is why when he received these promises. He received the gift of wisdom. He ended up thinking he is wiser than God. One as your son. Because he had not gone through the trials and testings that his father had gone through. One as your son. So now he thought it's wise to marry a thousand women. One as your son. It's because he had not gone through the pain. <laughs> one as your son. And the trials. One as your son. You know, his father had seen the pains and the trials of being <laughs> heartbroken. One as your son. One as your son. He had even been promised to marry Saul's daughter. Nakaona kipigwa chenga. One as your son. So David was never going to marry 1,000 women. One as your son. He had known that there, there can be problems in, in future. One as your son. Because he had gone through trials and testing and he had been through luck and he had seen pain. One as your son. One as your son. So sometimes we need to be patient as God works in us. As God takes us through these times of trials and testing. So that we can be ready to handle his promises. And not let the promises swallow us. One as for your son. One as for your son. So that if you one day you walk in the gifts of healing. If you've gone through trials and temptations, you do not start thinking you are God. You can pray for people and they heal. So now you want to be exalted. One as for your son. One as for your son. Oh yes, he is a lovely God. Let's pray that God will give us the strength to endure, to be patient, and to obtain the promise finally. One as for your son. Let me address those who are watching us online. If you're watching from wherever you are, you've never committed your life to Christ, I would like to offer you this opportunity to be part of the kingdom of God. It's quite simple. Jesus says, you just need to believe in your heart and confess in your mouth that he is Lord and you will be born again. So please, if you are watching and you want to be part of this salvation life, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I accept that I am a sinner. And I thank you that you died on the cross for me. Lord Jesus, save my soul. And let me have the gift of eternal life. 
Amen. If you pray that simple prayer, you are born again. There is joy in heaven. Please get in touch so that you can be directed and discipled. There are the phone numbers, the church is here. Call and you'll be directed. For everyone else who's watching, thank you for being part of our services. Uh, we, have, we appreciate you for being part of us every week. We thank you for your lives and we ask for God to continue to bless your lives. We have the gifts and tithes and offerings still number for you to be a partaker. Please be partaker. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let me pray. Father, I thank you for each and every one who is committing to tithes and offerings and any other type of gift. Bless them, Lord. And may you continue to prosper the work of their hands, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for whoever is watching us online. Father, bless their lives. Take good care of them this week. As they start this week, Lord, continue to strengthen them. Whatever trials they may be going through, Lord, strengthen, speak to their hearts that they may develop patience and endure to the end to receive the promises, the lovely promises that you have for them. Even the promise of eternal life. For you say that you go to create a place for us, Lord. We receive these wonderful promises, Lord. Bless each one of them, Lord, that as they receive as they walk with you, in the end, you will say of them, good and faithful servants. Father, we thank you. Strengthen us. Those who have fallen, lift us up. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to me today. Let me welcome Bishop to take us.